idea of how the words, uh, you know, were streaming through. I'm going to read you uh, from one of the original pieces. Um, and it, uh, I wrote, I am dreaming on my wall, and then these words came. The ground is cold and comes up from the roots of my feet, from my very core. Leaves grow out of the earth and into my home. I need a pair of socks to keep me warm. A culture void of meaning and full of religion, violence and empty icons. I have taped up my floor so the worms won't come in. Let's let the leaves grow back in, emerging through the earth, through the concrete, and into our homes. So I talked about the old work. So the old work, in a way, was very labor. You know, it was it was uh, you know from my soul and from my dreams and from my you know subconscious and from our history. But it was also uh, you know taking one to two years to do a painting and um, you know. Uh, so this work was very much in the moment and uh, what was going and what was happening now. So I felt like you know probably was not as good because, heck, you know, I mean, if I could just do it that easily, there must be a problem. Um, but uh, I think that's what a lot of the modern movement has done, and I'm starting to understand why. And I think coming from a perspective where you've had, you know, you've been through all that before, then I find a lot more value in it. And so where, where this exhibit is at here is, you know, being a complete sense of, you know, here's found nature objects, so looking around and finding the spiral. And I'll get into, you know, the means of the spiral and what I've learned about it. Um, but in the sense of <clears throat> being in the moment, being able to um, experience whatever you're seeing, whatever's growing through your floor, um, what you're, you know, who you're meeting, uh, what you're dreaming, and, uh, you know, What's appearing to you is, is I think, very much um, what this show is about. I think that um, that it is probably the most omnipresent form of interconnectivity on the planet. But in terms of being able to look around us and, and find what is every in every format, you know, the sky, the skin, the, the tree life, insect life, growth, destruction, um, you know, what what else do we have? I mean, so for me this is this is really incredible information. Um, that we are we are patterns, you know, and we're living patterns that are repeated in all of our of our existence that we know of. So what what we're talking about, uh, the reason for that is we go back to the hermetical idea. These are pre-biblical ideas. Um, spiral representing life, uh, representing how life functions, um, representing enlightenment. Why? Because if we study how the universe works, when we study how we are part of the universe, that is enlightenment. How the universe functions and how we get energy, how energy is formed, how energy leaves. What, what are those, those are the things that unite all of us, that unite us to every living form, every living energy. That is how we're, we're all connected. Um, so I think that if, if we can refine nature, if we can refine our understandings of how nature operates and how we're existing and how it's all connected, that there is a sense of higher purpose.